what's outside the intersection? This is uh, the question that we answered in this paper of the same name. And my name is Maximilian Bernhard. And this work was to, done together with Roberto Amoroso, Yannick Kindermann, Lorenzo Baraldi, Rita Cucchiara, Volker Tret, and Matthias Schubert. So we are considering the task of semantic image segmentation, which is a fundamental uh, task in computer vision with lots of different applications in lots of different domains. There are different training settings and um, also a lot of different methods, especially different architectures. So it's a very diverse task. Uh, however, evaluation and benchmarking is mostly done uh, with a single metric, which is the mean intersection of a union. So it's questionable whether a single metric is actually suitable to uh, capture this whole uh, diversity and variety of the task. And also an um, observation that we made very early is that segmentation errors can be perceived quite differently uh, from humans. For instance, consider this pixel here at position two and, and uh, compare it with the pixel at position seven. Uh, this, these are both errors, but they are quite different in terms of what capabilities a model needs to or doesn't have uh, to make these pixels predictions correct. So um, yeah, our goal was to extend uh, the evaluation of semantic segmentation models uh, beyond uh, the mean intersection over union by introducing error metrics that are uh, intuitive and allow for a better understanding of semantic segmentation models. And we do this uh, by starting similarly to MIOU. Uh, so we consider each class uh, in the data set separately. So we have a binary ground proof mask and a binary prediction mask. And then we want to assign each pixel uh, in every image uh, to exactly one category based on the predicted class, obviously, the ground truth class, and in addition to that, the spatial context within an image, which we do to kind of allow for this uh, um, similarity to the human perception of errors. And on a technical level, uh, we include the spatial context by considering cont contiguous segments. So we say that two pixels are in a relation if they are either in the same contiguous segment in the prediction or in the ground truth. And yeah, these contiguous segments uh, can be uh, extracted from the prediction and the ground truth without any extra annotations or any extra predictions. So we can easily do this and still remain model and data set agnostic. And then our categories are uh, first, obviously true positives and true negatives. So this is nothing new. The examples would be zero and one here. And our first error category is the boundary error. This is supposed to indicate that a model was uh, able to recognize uh, an object uh, correctly and also a transition from foreground and to background for this class. For this class. Uh, however, the delineation is not perfect. So uh, you can see like here in position two or three, uh, it's just the boundary that was not uh, predicted correctly. A little bit more severe than that is our second category, uh, the extent errors. Here, um, the model recognized an object or a segment um, roughly correct, but the extent was simply mispredicted. So here, um, the pixel four or here, pixel five, um, they, these are errors that occur quite far from the boundaries. And our last category is the segment error, which is the most fundamental one. Uh, examples would be here at position six and seven, where the model was not able to recognize an object at all. So this ground truth cat here is not predicted at all. And this for this prediction at position six here, there's no correspondence in the ground truth at all. So this is what we consider segment errors. So yeah, after we have assigned every pixel to one of these categories, um, we want to um, summarize uh, 
uh, these categories in some statistics or error metrics. And we do this also similar to intersection over union by uh, considering the error over union. So we simply divide the number of pixels in each category by the union, which is the sum of true positives, false positives, and false negatives. And in doing so, we get the nice property that the IOU plus the errors over union for all uh, categories sum up to 100%. This still holds if we consider the mean IOU and the mean error over union. So that is a very nice property and this makes our metrics fit perfectly um, with the intersection over union. So we are not trying to replace that. We want to extend it. And a second uh, nice property that we get from that is that we can interpret the error over union then as the loss in intersection over union that is caused by a certain error type. In our experiments, um, we conducted a broad analysis of state-of-the-art semantic segmentation models on ADE20K. Uh, we cannot go into the details here. However, I want to point out certain things. So first, uh, UPANET plus uh, be it as a backbone uh, has extremely low uh, segment errors. So uh, the model is very good at that. However, it's not uh, really state of the art um, with respect to the boundary and the extent errors. So models with this kind of overall performance uh, can actually do better. And this holds especially for all the models with uh, that are based on the principle of mask classification like mask former, mask two former, and one former. For these models, we can see that they have uh, very low error rates for boundaries and extents. However, they have some weaknesses with respect to uh, the segments, which are um, where the error rates are much larger than for be it. So this shows us that there are systematic differences between uh, these different architecture classes, I would say. And yeah, the question is now if these error signatures are kind of complementary, can we exploit that? And to investigate that, we made a case study and combined uh, models with a complementary strength according to our um, error metrics. And we did this by taking one model A uh, that has a low uh, segment error rate for multi-label classification. So this model is supposed to say which classes are present in an image. And then we take the luggage of a second model B that has low boundary and extent errors. And yeah, then we set the logits for the classes that were not predicted by the model A to minus infinity to rule them out. And this way we get a extremely simple uh, combination of the predictions of both models. And it turns out that with this simple approach that doesn't require any tuning, any training, any tweaking, um, we get consistent performance improvements on ADE20K. If we combine the models uh, the other way around, we actually drop uh, uh, in performance because uh, we combine that or we emphasize both models' weaknesses, which makes sense. And yeah, it's also remarkable that with this combination here in the bottom, we actually surpass the current state of the art uh, on ADE 20K. So to conclude, um, in this work, we proposed an extension for the IOU-based evaluation uh, of semantic segmentation models, which consists of three new error metrics uh, that are intuitive and allow for a better understanding of semantic segmentation models. In our analysis of state-of-the-art models, we have seen that there are systematic differences in the models, and it turns out that we actually can derive um, uh, solutions how to improve semantic segmentation models from these insights. So this emphasizes the value of our error metrics. So if you are interested in our work, uh, you can check out um, our GitHub page here under this link, or you can also scan this QR code, which will bring you there. So yeah, uh, thanks for your attention.